Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today's day 34 of the challenge. And unfortunately, it was a small red day for me. Uh, down 6% on the day. I made five trades. Three green, two red. That was plus 22%, minus 57, minus 60%, minus 22, and plus 25%. So the uh, losses were a little too big. Um, and that was just because I was being more aggressive than I probably should have should have been. And I was looking for that nice move downwards, but it was more of a slow, uh, kind of choppy downtrend day. So it didn't quite get the move I was looking for, and that's okay. You know, I'll live to trade another day. The important thing is keeping losses small and, uh, you know, being prepared for the next day. So um, in choppy days like this, it, it happens. You know, I probably over-traded with five trades. Probably could have kept it a little a little bit, uh, you know, less work for me. But uh, I guess I felt like working harder today, so... Started the day off up 5%, and then from that, that point on, it was a little bit up and down, um, mostly down. So um, that's all right. I know some of you guys out there killed it today. Um, if you guys aren't aware, I did launch a free Discord. I'd love to have you there. Uh, link's in the description, um, and it's just a great place for us all to kind of hang out and uh, um, you know get to know each other better and, and just share ideas. And uh, it's also a place where I can share um, anything I find relevant to trading just to help everyone. So uh, um, it's really cool. I really like it so far. It's been a lot of fun. And I look forward to seeing that grow and, uh, you know, coming up with new ideas to uh, share information there. So love to have you guys there. And uh, some of the people there today made some great trades. So I'm very proud of everyone. You know, everyone's trying to learn and, and get better at trading. And that's that's honestly so exciting because... I know what um, trading has done for my life, and I, I know what it can do for anyone that puts in the time. So, um, very exciting. So, anyways, without further ado, let's dive right into the trades. All five of them, a couple too many probably. So, this is the five-minute chart we're looking at right here, and you can see we had this nasty gap down this morning. So, um, with that, that was most of most of the move made um, as far as the the spy being down two percent you can see that's uh from 407 opened up around 403 so about half the move that was made today was all in the opening so that's kind of what happens sometimes um a big move like that will happen and you'll just see kind of a slow trend day um or there'll be a lot of volume you can see that gap fill so you know it could always go one of two ways today obviously it went that slow down trend day um which uh it can be hard to trade with a small account but it's all right. We live and we learn. So zooming in here on the one minute chart, you can see my first trade of the day. Uh, I was up 5% on the day. I should have just walked away, right? Saved so much time and effort. That's okay, though. It's all part of the journey, part of the challenge. Um, so I got in at 10.04, the 397 put, and I got out at 10.13 right here. So um, a very common theme in my trades is... Uh, when I hold them for, you know, between five and 20 minutes, um, is when I'm most profitable. The longer I've held them, um, the greater the odds of me not making a profit on them has been. So that's just part of the way it goes sometimes, especially trading same day expirations. Um, and I just haven't had much luck, honestly, since I started the challenge. I haven't had luck really swaying my way, um, where I get some huge wins, just part of, you know, a uh, strategy and just luck really pushing my way. So uh, you know, part of trading can be luck sometimes. You know, it never hurts to have a little extra luck on your side to push things further in the money for you. So um, that's all right. Always being prepared. Like today, I, I was in position for if the move did happen, I would have made a great gain. But I didn't and said it was a small loss. And, um, and knowing what I was doing before I got in and out is important. And um, it makes taking the loss much easier because you had a strategy. You stuck to your rules. I know I kind of went over my max loss a little bit, um, but it was a small amount in comparison to my overall account. Um, so looking at the minus 57 and 60% loss, even though I try to keep mine around 40%, um, I would say with trades over $10, $10 or more, uh, I try to keep around 40% loss max. Um, but if it's less than that, then it, it can it can vary. Those percentages can swing pretty dramatically um, as they get lower. So that's how I was looking at that. Um, trade number two and three were basically a quick hedge, and I had a feeling when I got in this it was going to be choppy from that moment. So, you know, sometimes you got to go with your gut. Wish I would have today. It's all good, though. Um, so 
that was the 396 put and the 408 call. Got at 1015 and 1016 right here on the so this is where I got out of the 397 put and then I basically immediately got into this hedge just a couple minutes later. So that 397 put I basically held all day as basically a, a hedge for some of the scalping I did throughout the day. And while I was waiting for this downtrend, hoping for that solid push. I um, mean, you know, we hit 398, which is great. Um, but I needed I needed a, a faster move down, and I could have had a good gain. But, you know, it's all good. All part of it. So that was the hedge that I got up here, and I was holding that for a while. And um, the reason I got the hedge was because I didn't know if we are going to make that move up and try to close that gap from pre-market, which I've seen happen so many times. So I bought that just as a little insurance on my put. Um, and I was also hoping for clearly a faster move down. You know, we didn't make that move to 400, but it was just so slow and boring that um, it didn't pay very well. So same day expiration was rough on the 396 put. Um, the 399 puts went pretty crazy today, though. And moving on to the next trade was the 397 put again. I got at 9, and I got out at 11 right here. So I waited for a nice opportunity. Um, I saw at 4 or 400, sorry, at $400, um, we were bouncing around, and I was looking for that move from 400 to 398, um, which we got, but not fast enough. So I got in at 9, out at 11, just, um, look at that, 9 minutes later. So very common theme, in and out quick are my best trades typically. Um, my biggest percentage gainers I've ever had in my life are definitely, you know, uh, swing trades. So it's all part of the different strategies, you know, trading um, intraday, um, is a, it's harder to get crazy gains, but as you've seen on here, there was just trades uh, last week that went 3,800% a day. So it can be done, and you know, timing just has to be a little bit more on point. So moving on to the next trade, that I think that was trade number four. Man, so many trades. Five is too many, I think. Too many for me to, to try to remember all the details. And then that brings me on to, yeah, trade number five, I think. You know, I might have skipped one. I'm sorry if I did. Um, you know, if I if you have questions, please leave them down below. I know I'm going over this pretty quick, and I'm trying to keep it quick and simple. Um, that's basically my my rule around here is trying to keep things quick and simple. Trading is overcomplicated, and uh, people try to make it sound way harder so that they can charge you money. You know, um, again, Discord is free, always will be free, and uh, would love to have you guys there. So. Um, I'm not here to uh, scam anyone. I just want to help, and I'll always be a hundred percent, hundred, hundred percent. I can't even talk. I'll always be a hundred percent transparent. So moving on to wrap things up, um, I ended up dumping that 396 put at 1454 um, for three dollars just to throw it off. For a second, I was scared we we're gonna come down and dump the last ten minutes of the day, which happens, but um, it didn't. So thankfully. I got out at three, and I think it, you know, it closed the day worthless, as long as all these. So that's why it's important to get in and out faster, especially with same day expirations. Um, but you never know, you know. It was a nice downtrend, and uh, I was playing to my thesis, hoping that we got a, more of a solid push down. Right here, I thought we had it. I was actually up on that position about 20% at that point. So right then, I was like, nice. Here we go. Here we go. Let's push, baby. Come on. And we didn't get it. So. Just one of those days. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And um, just a quick look at the account. Just so you know, down 6.9% on the day. So um, it is what it is. Still up 73% on the challenge. And here's just a quick quick gander at the transaction history. I will always share this. I'll never hide it. And uh, I think this helps so much more than people that just share screenshots. I mean, I could definitely just keep a catalog of screenshots and be like look what I made on the market today it's here is a good article from today I did share in the discord um, and I found it pretty interesting it's just basically going over why the market did go down so much today and I believe today was the worst day of the year you know it's only well end of late February but nonetheless worst day of the year I believe so noteworthy and then and a lot of that is due um, to the two and five year treasury notes going up, so they kind of correlate. Um, you know, I, I play the daily trends up or down, um, but I do like to keep um, my eye on the overall market and what everyone thinks uh, you know it's going to do. And I like to know 
the bull and bear thesis. I like to know from both sides why they think it's going to go up or down because there's always an argument. You know, there's always two camps. One thinks the market's going to keep climbing. One thinks it's going to dump. And I just like to hear everyone's point of view and just kind of take that information for myself and make my own decision. So that's what I recommend everyone do. You know, that way you, um, you can kind of figure out what works best for you. So, you know, here's also another uh, a picture of someone else's analysis. And you can see they kind of have a very similar trend line that they drew and what they're looking at of support. So you never know. It could break through that support. It could bounce. Um, you know, here is my technical analysis. So it is actually pretty similar. You know, drawing the uptrend from the very bottom right here of the recent lows and then drawing the downtrend from the highs. So that's it's it's simple as that, you know, don't overcomplicate it. And you can see zooming in here on the 15. Whoa. One thing to note with Weebull, when you draw lines, say you're in the daily and you draw these lines right here. Sometimes it gets a little funky when you zoom in on like the 15. See, it gets all weird. So that's one thing. I'm not really sure why they don't just stay where they should, but that's one of my only concerns or one of my only beefs with Weeble. Um, but if you're interested, I will post that information, that link down below, just so you can kind of check that out. Um, so you can be uh, better informed. All right, just to wrap the day up, I'm going to do a quick technical analysis of the market and uh, just kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm looking for. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, but this is what I do and what I love to do and I hope it helps. So anyways, diving right into just the daily chart, you can see this big downtrend line um, going from the very height of the market back in January 2022. Um, and since then we've hit rejection, rejection, rejection. We finally broke out of that downtrend on, I believe, January 24th or so. And then again, we rejected around that 418 area, I believe. And so right now is kind of an interesting point um, because you can see we're coming to what could be a bounce and also a consolidation area. So the market could bounce here or it can continue down. Um, you know, the only time will tell. Um, but at the same time, you can see the 200-day moving average right here in green, the 50 right here in blue, um, and the 21 is in gold. So right now you can kind of see they've, they crossed right here and it looks like it's going to want to come down and at least retest that um, 200. So you never know what will happen, but it does look like it's going to come back down. And uh, that's what most of the analysts think right now. So, you know, I'm bearish, as is a lot of people. Um, but again, you never know. So I just play the cards I'm dealt every day. can make money both ways. But anyways, that's about all I have for today. I might be forgetting something. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And uh, yeah, I'm just grateful for everyone watching. You know, I am uh, honored to have everyone um, liking, commenting, subscribing. You know, I'm just more than grateful for the support. So thank you all so much. I hope you stay happy and healthy and I'll see you tomorrow.